Now we're going to make these features, these ridges that represent the solar panels. And you can see the details for them down here. There's a lot of pattern, but let's get right to it. And so we're going to start a 2D sketch on this flat face up here. Okay. Start that sketch there, and we're going to hit right click slice graphics or F7. And then this points right in the middle, which is big for us. And so we're going to reference off of that. And we look here, and here's our reference. So we're going to go 1 16th of an inch out. We're going to draw a rectangle for our little knobs there. And the width of the, all of these looks like it's 1 64th of an inch. And the height is 1 128th of an inch. And then I'm going to put reference point. Uh, reference point on the midpoint there so I can dimension from the midpoint to my center reference point and that looks like it's supposed to be 1 16th of an inch according to my drawing right there. Then I want the bottom of that from the bottom of this to be 1 64th of an inch up that way it's halfway and it's resting on the solid surface. This is solid surface this is open for us right now. Now we're going to do a rectangular pattern in two-dimensional mode I've drawn the corner of this one. We need a total of 10 of them on this side. So I'm gonna do rectangular pattern. I'm going to choose the entire rectangle. My direction is this direction. Notice the arrow went the wrong way, so I flip it. I need 10 of them going this way. They're an eighth of an inch apart according to my drawing, eighth of an inch apart from center to center. I hit okay. Now I'm gonna finish my sketch. And what you're gonna notice is I have all those there. I'm going to do an extrude. And you might think, well, how far do you extrude? They go different distances. And this is a neat extrude feature I can do to next. And so each of them are going to go and they're going to extrude until they run into material. And so they're going to go different distances. And I choose each one. This is why I had to do the pattern in 2D mode instead of 3D mode. If I had done this in 3D mode, I couldn't have gotten the pattern to work right. So I hit OK. Later, we'll mirror those to the other side. Now let's come over here and do the same thing. So I want this flat surface here, and that's great. And before I go in and look directly at it and do my slice graphics, I'm going to project the geometry of this reference edge that I need. And I'm having troubles getting the view, but I'm going to get project geometry of this line right there. And I need that line right there to project. And I think I've got it. So I'm going to slice. I'm going to look at this face, do the look at tool right at that face. I'm going to slice my graphics. And I've got it right here, uh, and that edge is the edge I need. So I come in here. I'm going to draw my rectangles again. I, I'm going to go ahead and put my rectangle. Now I can put it on here because that's the surface, and the uh, size there is 1 128th, and then I tab 1 64th is that, and then I put a point for the midpoint there, of course, as my reference again. And you'll notice here, from the edge, we're 1 8th of an inch to center, and then 1 8th of an inch repeat it again and so uh, from there to there should be one eighth of an inch one eighth and then i'm going to pattern once again in 2d mode this rectangle this time and i'm going to go this direction and it got the right direction this time and then for this i need it says over here 16 of them and so i do 16 they're an eighth of an inch of apart each time and i go ahead and pattern those in. I'm going to finish my sketch. I have all of those that I now need to extrude and it's going to take a while to click them. But We're going to go ahead. We're going to click them. We're going to extrude to next for every single one of these. Get through this as quickly as possible. We missed and because we missed we need to hit cancel on that. We're going to hit extrude. We're going to just not even do the to next. We're just going to get all of our squares first. I missed again. And I think this missing is happening because we did the project geometry. And so all of that outline is there. And that's my issue. Um, if I go back into the sketch, I could probably get rid of some of those lines. If I get rid of this top line, um, if I make it a construction line, I won't see it anymore. But I'm going to run out of time here. Um, anyways, you want to extrude all of those to next, and it will work. It'll work just fine, and you've done it.